Mike Perry's incredible story includes him going from a prison cell to the UFC octagon to taking the gloves off and throwing down bare knuckle style. But it's really his personality that has made him a fan favorite, which includes a few iconic rants and antics. Any other questions? First, let's see how Perry nearly ended up ruining his life before it ever took off. Number 8. Mike Perry's Early Life Mike Perry was born and raised in Flint, Michigan, but things were pretty tough for young Platinum right away. He has said that he grew up in poverty and bounced between 20 to 30 different homes between Florida and Michigan. And when he wasn't switching homes and schools, he said that he was bullied a lot because he usually attended schools where he was a minority, so the other kids would gang up on him. So it's no wonder Perry is thought of as one of the toughest fighters in the world. He has practically been fighting his entire life. Perry even mentioned that one of his earliest memories is that of his father borrowing his boss's pickup truck and the truck ran out of gas on some icy roads. That meant walking to the nearest gas station as a middle schooler in freezing conditions. Perry knew from a young age that life wasn't fair, so he decided that because he was bigger and stronger than a lot of kids his age, he was going to start using his gifts. The very same gifts that would make Perry a fighting star earned him a trip to prison after he was caught robbing houses in his late teens. He was incarcerated for six months after he violated the terms of a sentence for armed burglary in 2011. He was 19 at the time of the arrest. But those six months would be life-changing for Platinum Perry. He had hit rock bottom and knew perfectly well where he didn't want to end up again, so when he got out, he aimed to use his physical gifts for a better and more legal outlet. Number 7. How He Started MMA Because of the harsh conditions that Perry grew up in, he started training in boxing when he was 11 years old. It was part of his self-defense tactic, so he already had a good sense of what fighting was and had some combat experience. During his prison sentence, Perry told other inmates that when he got out, he was going to pursue a living as a UFC fighter. He even gave graphic grappling lessons to his bunkmate in their cell and could be seen shadow boxing outside whenever he was free. After his release from prison, Perry got a job as a trainer at a UFC gym in Winter Springs, Florida. While training other clients, he added to his MMA skill set and in just three years, he made his dreams come true of fighting in the UFC after accumulating a 7-0 record with all knockouts. So it's safe to say that Perry picked the right thing to do with his skill set. Number 6. UFC Ups and Downs However, Perry would learn another valuable lesson during his UFC tenure. Life rarely turns out exactly how you imagined it. Perry reached the UFC, but there he had a pretty up and down career as he went on hot streaks and then some rather cold ones. Things started out great for Platinum, winning four of his first five fights in the UFC, with all four coming via knockout, two of which earned him performance of the night bonuses. But once Perry started to fight better competition in the UFC, he began to falter. He wouldn't win more than one fight in a row the rest of the time. His record became marred with consecutive losses, while his wins came through incredible grit and toughness rather than than easy KOs. Still, he managed to win two more fight of the night bonuses while earning a reputation as one of the most entertaining figures in MMA because of his fighting style and hilarious interviews. Your hair's pretty friendly. More on the latter in a little bit. But being a fan favorite can only take you so far. Once it became clear that Perry didn't have what it took to become a champion in the UFC, he called it quits and turned his attention to a different sport. Now, before we get to his bare knuckle boxing career, Perry did manage to make some good money in the UFC, and as a prize fighter, that is really the ultimate goal. Number five, career earnings. Platinum might have only made 20,000 for his debut win over Lim, but it didn't take him long to start doubling and tripling that money. A few fights later, Perry took home 80,000 largely thanks to his $50,000 performance of the night bonus, which he got for knocking out Jake Ellenberger. He got another $50,000 bonus for the very next fight for KOing Alex Reyes, and he pocketed a grand total of $122,000. After this, Perry struggled to get a win streak going, so he lost half of his paycheck with each L, but managed to pull off a split decision win over Paul Felder and got $80,000 for his troubles. For his fight of the night win over Alex Oliveira, Perry earned $165,000. And even though he lost his next bout, it was another fight of the night winner, which earned Perry $118,000. For his last fight with the UFC, which he did lose via decision, Perry took home just over $100,000, after which he turned his attention to bare knuckle boxing, and that was a match made in heaven. Number 4. Bare Knuckle Boxing 
On October 26, 2021, Mike Perry signed a contract with the BKFC and made his debut against Julian Lane at Knucklemania 2 on February 19, 2022. Perry won the fight via a decision because of a knockdown in the very first round. Although it's not confirmed exactly how much he made for that fight, Perry has gone on record to say he made twice as much as what the UFC was paying him. So that win set him up to fight the ever-dangerous Michael Venom Page. The fight took place in London and Perry won a majority decision. This set Perry up to take on the former UFC middleweight champion Luke Rockhold, and Perry put on a show for the people. Rockhold ended up retiring mid-bout after Perry knocked a few of his teeth loose. Now this earned Perry $250,000 and a photo op with none other than Conor McGregor which took social media by storm. And speaking of social media, let's take a look at what Platinum does on his off time. Number 3. Social Media Presence Mike Perry is one of the most unfiltered fighters in combat sports. Sometimes this gets him into trouble but it also brings in a lot of fanfare. That is why on Twitter he has over 200,000 followers, and on Instagram he has nearly 700,000. His feed is full of training footage, behind the scene pictures of him partying and having a good time. When Perry isn't doing one of those three things, he is busy with his partner and two kids. Before Perry got with Latore Gonzalez, he was in a very public relationship with Danielle Nickerson. However, that didn't work out, and Perry not only found the love of his life, but also someone to corner him for his fights. More on that in a bit. With Latore Gonzalez, Perry has a boy and a girl and together the four of them look like the perfect happy family. But we think that no matter what, Perry would find a way to have a good time because of his incredible unique personality. Number 2. Unique Personality Two things attracted MMA fans to Perry right away. One was his brawling style of fighting and the other was the way he looked and talked on the mic. If we were to tell you to draw a professional fighter, you'd likely end up sketching someone that looked like Perry. Covered in tattoos, including a couple on his face, rocking a crazy haircut, and someone who says whatever comes to his mind when he's on the mic. This included going on a rant about taxes after his win over Mickey Gall. And look, I ain't trying to be one of these guys asking for more money. I'm not. So, you know what I mean? Like, something got to work out. Maybe we put in contract that the taxes is paid when Platinum gets paid. Like, when I get paid, that's it, y'all. That's my money. You don't give me money if you don't want me to spend it and right. then you're going to come back and ask me for something later. Right. That don't even make no sense. I'm right. trying to wild out, bro. I need my ties on the beat. That rant even got him a shout-out from the popular Flagrant 2 podcast. So Perry definitely knows how to go viral. He also went viral when he had his girlfriend at the time, Latori Gonzalez, corner him for his fight. And that wouldn't be a big deal, but Gonzalez was the only only person in Perry's corner, and from her advice, it was clear she was not an MMA coach. But hey, that's what makes Platinum Platinum. And if you have some free time, we would urge you to YouTube Mike Perry Darren Till Spa and have a laugh. Number 1. His Net Worth when it comes to Mike Perry's net worth, there are a few different things to consider. First and foremost, it would be his UFC career. That is where he made the majority of his money, but judging by his rant on taxes, a lot of it seemed to have gone to the government. His venture into bare-knuckle boxing seems to be pretty lucrative, but there aren't any exact figures floating around of how well he is doing over there. He did have a few sponsors on his boxing shorts, but we don't know how well he got paid from them. So for now, we would just estimate that his net worth is somewhere around 800000 to $1 million. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched us break down Mike Perry's story and lifestyle. We'll see you next time.